I wanted to share my exact marketing plan that we use to land high paying clients for our video production service. And I wanna make this video very tactical and really easy to implement for you as well. So it's gonna be clear and step by step. And I specifically laid this out in three different steps. This is a whole kind of business marketing plan and it really doesn't work if you don't follow it in these steps, okay? Because you do have to get your messaging right before you start telling people that you could make a video for them, okay? So the very first step, and I talk about this all the time, is you have to know who you're talking to. And the way you do that is you have to find a niche. Basically a niche, by what I mean by a niche, is an industry that you are going to serve. So you're going to make videos for a very specific type of people. Now, most people make a mistake of going broad and making videos for anybody that needs a video. But the key here, especially in the very beginning, is you have to go narrow instead of going wide. Because what ends up happening is if you're going broad, anybody that is making a video is also competing with you. But as you go narrow and you find a niche and you find an industry that you want to serve, now you are really competing with lots less people, right? So now you're not just selling a video to everyone. I wanna make this very, very clear because it took me many, many years to understand the difference between going broad and going narrow and picking a niche. If you learn anything in the world of marketing is really the first step in setting up everything else right. Now, let me give you a very clear example so this makes a lot more sense. When I started, a very clear niche that I pursued was lawyers and law firms. Basically, with lawyers, they could use a video in order to get more clients, right? Typically, most small businesses could use a video to get more clients if you pitch them the idea the right way. Then, what I thought about is, okay, how do I get into this niche? Well, I could start with very small law firms or lawyers. I could start literally working for it, one independent lawyer, making them a video, even if it had to be free to get my example, right? Then you have to think about, well, does this niche level up? Can I get higher paying clients? Because a single lawyer is not gonna give you the type of money you're probably looking for for your video services. Then I thought about, yes, I can, because I know lawyers that are part of a law firm. So then you could then level up to a law firm that has five lawyers. Then you could level up to a law firm eventually where we got to where it had a thousand lawyers. Then you could get government contracts that's kind of where we uh, followed that exact path. So pick a niche, think of it as a niche that could level up. Now make sure you do this step because step two and three rely on you having a niche so you know exactly how to craft your message because you have to know who you're talking to. Now stage two in this process is creating an offer and presenting that offer to that industry or that niche. Now again, a lot of filmmakers make a mistake here. When I ask them, what are you offering? And they say, I'm offering a video or I see posts online like, hey, do you need a video? We could make a video for you. Think of it a little bit differently here. Instead of pitching a video, because almost nobody really needs a video, why they get videos is because of the benefit the video brings to their business typically. So if you think about it that way, what's the benefit the video could bring someone? Then you could pitch it a little bit differently. And the way I think of it is typically a video for most small businesses that we will start with can bring them more clients. They could use it as a marketing tool to bring more clients. And then it levels up to lots of different uh, ways that they could use a video for that. That's a very clear way to explain a video to them. So I always try to create my offer around that benefit. The benefit has to be at the center of it, not the fact that you make videos. You are selling the benefits of that video. Then I take it at another level and I never pitch one video. I pitch a bundle of videos. So this basically has a much higher perceived value and it doesn't take me much more time to shoot and edit those, right? Then they could use it for lots of different ways and I communicate that with them. Hey, this is your core marketing video, but here's a bunch of different ads you could use. Here's a 30 second ads for TikTok, all this different stuff that I could give them as a bundle. Then you actually have to present that, right? Basically, you have to put it online in a way where you could actually tell the right people, hey, this is what I have to give you. Now, the way I do that and the way most marketers do this is by creating what's called a landing page. Now, landing pages are a little bit different than other pages or your homepage of your website. You really never want to send people to the homepage when you're using this marketing tactic because typically your homepage speaks to many different types of people that may need a video. 
but these landing pages speak to a very specific person selling a very specific offer that we put together in the last two steps, right? So once we put this landing page together, we gotta have a very clear understanding of what we want to say and how we want to say it. That's basically why we have to have a niche so we know who we're talking to. And that's why we have to have an offer. So it becomes kind of very clear to someone landing on there, hey, this is for me, this makes sense, I'm gonna give you an email. So we typically have a box here that just captures that lead. The point for the landing page is to walk someone through a very clear path. We don't want them to get confused. We don't want them go to go to the homepage of our website. We basically want them to understand the value that we have here, the benefit oriented offer and give us the email. Now we got a lead. And that brings me to stage three. How do we actually get people to now find that? We put everything together. We have the landing page, right? But what, how do we get someone to come to that page so then they could actually become a lead? Well, that brings us to the whole world of different types of marketing that you could do to basically get recognized for having a business and having this offer. And there's plenty of ways to go about this, okay? Back in the day when I started, search engine optimization was absolute king and Google ads were also right there on top. And that's basically what I started with. But throughout the years, I always made transitions to whatever type of marketing and advertising really took over, right? So for a while it was email marketing, for a while it was Facebook ads, but right now, and I think for the next few years, YouTube ads are going to be completely dominant in the world of advertising because with YouTube ads, we actually have a leg up here if you think about it. YouTube ads are those skippable ads that play before videos, but they're videos. We know how to make videos, right? Most marketers have no idea how to make videos. So we could easily stand out by making those pre-roll ads and targeting the right people. But the second most important reason why I like YouTube ads right now is for about 10 to $15 a day, you could really get going with YouTube ads where all other methods of marketing, even some advertising, just take a while to implement. With YouTube ads, they've made it really, really simple and the YouTube ad platforms, has one of the most powerful targeting that I've ever seen in the last 15 years of online advertising. What I've seen is with YouTube ads, you could target people based on everything Google knows. So if someone has searched for a very specific thing using Google, you could use that information on YouTube and target those people with your ads, which really obviously you can't get anywhere else because everybody pretty much uses Google to do searches and search intent targeting is one of the best ways to get someone to actually find you and they are the perfect person you need to find. And another important note here is when you dive into the world of marketing and think of, well, how do I tell people about this landing page on my offer? There's going to be lots of different things that you could really pursue and where people make a mistake is they pursue multiple things at once. What I want you to do and why I made this very clear, what I think is the dominant and the most effective form of marketing right now with this paid advertising is if you pursue multiple paths, each of them are going to take time. Some of them are going to take a little bit of money like paid advertising. But if you pursue multiple avenues, you're gonna just dilute your time and you're not gonna get results in any of it. That's one of the biggest mistakes I made was I was jumping in between search engine optimization and Google paid ads and email marketing and whatever else that I learned about the next week, I will be like, okay, well, this didn't work for a week. None of this works for in a week, okay? You gotta try, you gotta improve on it, you gotta test it out and you gotta invest a little bit of time and money and it will work. But once it works, it's so freeing because now you have control. That's why I love these type of paid ad platforms because they know the right people to target as long as you know who you're talking to, your offer is set up right, and you target those people, and you tweak and tweak and get it right, eventually when it clicks, it really frees you because now you have a very clear marketing and advertising system, and you could use that to get clients whenever you want. Now, once you follow this three-stage marketing plan, people land on that page, they will, in some cases, give you an email, that becomes your lead, and then you take it through the sales process and you make a call. The reason why I like this marketing method is because I'm terrible at sales, I'm terrible on these calls, but you can't really sell high ticket price items without having those calls. But because of this marketing plan, the message, the marketing message and everything that's put together beforehand does most of the selling. I hardly do any actual selling on the phone, right? I never even had to hire a salesperson because the marketing takes care of so much of it for me. That's why I've laid it out this way. That's why I teach it this way. 
because I think most people are just going to be not, not really natural at selling on the phone. You let the marketing message take care of the process for you. So when you land on the phone, it becomes much easier and you're just basically closing that sale on those calls. And once you figure this out, this is a system you could turn on and off. So as you get clients, you could turn it off, service those clients, and then turn it on again. It's a machine, especially if you use the YouTube or Google ad platform to get those people to find your landing page. So I hope you found this useful. And tomorrow is the day I'm finally launching the video production accelerator course that we've spent the last six months here with my team putting together. And I think it's going to give you everything you need to actually put plans like this into play. Because in that program, I'm giving you all our templates, all the things that we use, landing pages, proposals, estimates, pricing, all of it I want to give to you. So I've designed lots of over 25 different downloadable assets that you could actually get to make this process easier, as well as 100 different videos, 100 plus different videos, including an entire course on YouTube ads. So if you want to uh, sign up for that, make sure you click the link below to learn more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video here on YouTube.